Hey guys, it's CSPN001 here welcoming you to my road to the 46th Platinum Trophy, which is Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Not too many people, I believe, have this game or even probably know it exists. Sort of like Cabela's or Ben... No, I don't know if it was Ben... It was either Ben 10 or Cabela's hunting expeditions that not a whole lot of people had at the time that I platinumed them. But uh, this game... It's an interesting game. It's not anything like real Pac-Man, like what you would see in the arcades and stuff. Instead, it's basically a 3D uh, platformer where you play as Pac-Man trying to, like, save a city, I believe, or something. And, you know, it's kind of fun. It's definitely not one of the worst games I've had to play to get trophies in. It's also really good because it's rich in silver trophies. It's got, like, 18 silvers or something. And also, like, five golds, so it's really good for trophy points. It does have... I think it's only got two bronzes, too. So, yeah, it's actually pretty good in trophy points. So, I definitely re recommend picking it up as a trophy hunter. And this is it. The only annoying thing is you have to beat every level of the game twice, which is something I didn't really like as much about it. But it's really not that big a deal. I mean, it's a decent game, and it's pretty easy to platinum. So, yeah. So, let the game save here. There it is, token effort. And fully pack-ed. Packed, paste, whatever you want to call it. Excellent! So, with that, that actually took me three attempts to record because of the first two attempts I just like miserably, epically failed. One of the main issues is the controls of the game are not like perfect, but it's really, it's not that bad of a game, really. So, I would definitely recommend picking it up for trophy hunting, but it'll take you a couple days to get, though. It is slightly longer, because you have to beat the game twice to get everything, and potentially a little bit of grinding as well. But it's good, like I said, because it's got a lot of silver trophies, and it's a decent game. I mean, I've definitely played worse. I've definitely played worse games. And really, the main game itself is not where the difficulty in, in the trophies comes from. Most of the difficulty in the trophies comes from having to beat the arcade games, which I'll get into that in just a second. Oh, Borderlands 2 is at 22%. Okay, good to know. Okay, so Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. These are all just story-based. All of those are just for beating the game. Those are for completing the bonus levels. They're basically just really short levels without checkpoints. Nothing too big about that. The globe energy is basically what the pack dots are in this game. Oh man, I'm 99%. Oh man, I'm close. Oh well. Uh, collect enough globe energy orbs to unlock Temple of Slime. Those two are basically story-based. Actually, all three of those basically are. These are some of Pac-Man's forms, and those two are going to probably come from just beating the game. And that one will come during your second playthrough. That one will come during your second playthrough, most likely. That one's the only, about the only trophy you really have to grind for, is getting 100 kills as the Metal Pac-Man because the power-up's rare. And defeating Scared Blue Ghosts, you can probably get... you. I got it in early on on my second playthrough, but you could potentially take longer or shorter or whatever. That one's, like, really easy. It's one of the only bronzes, as you saw there. Uh, these are the four mini-games. Like I said, the mini-games are probably the toughest part of the Platinum. Like... The Cherry Copter and the Tanks, the Pineapple Tank games, are both really easy to get, though that one's kind of time-consuming. It's just the Packercini and the Lemon Rocket that are actually hard. And you'll get them. You can get them both eventually. Uh, this is where the two playthroughs come in, is that you have to beat the game once. The first time you play through the game, you get fruit at the end of every level to unlock the arcade machines. But after, then you have to go back through and beat every level again to collect the arcade token in it, which is where you can get your remaining kills at. And then once you get your kills, you can pretty much just rush through the levels without killing anything. Uh, that one, you just have to collect a whole bunch of items called, like, Slimatarium or some really weird name. That one, you just have to collect a whole bunch of Packberry Pies without dying too often. That one's actually pretty easy. And then completing a level without losing a life is probably going to come naturally, at least during your second playthrough. Really about the only way you're going to die is from fall damage. It's very rare to get killed by actual enemies. So, with that, 2,923 trophies, level 19, 99%. So, I'm only 77 trophies away from reaching 3,000. So, 
there is a very good likelihood that I will have 3,000 trophies by the time I get my PS4, hopefully sometime in late February or early March, depending on when GameStop has them. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, so that's how that's going to work. Now, this probably won't be going up until well after I have it. 46 Platinums, 247 Golds, 669 Silvers. Wow, that jumped my Silvers a lot, just like sound shapes. And 1961 Bronzes. So, guys, that is it for this Platinum Trophy. Like I said, a pretty easy one. A little time-consuming, but not too bad. It's nice because I'm recording this on a snow day. So, pretty awesome there. So, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My next Platinum, I highly doubt, will be Red Dead Redemption or Borderlands 2. I'm pretty sure that my next Platinum is going to be... I mean, I'm going to get Borderlands 2 Platinum. It's just going to take a long time because, I mean, I'm not even done with my first playthrough yet. So, my next one is either going to be Dead Rising 2 off the record or whatever comes next on Gamefly. So, I will see you guys then.